A busy weekend ahead for the UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks, two games separated by a day against two different opponents. The Saga Center will see the Riverhawks host the University of New Hampshire. On Friday night, UMass Lowell will go to the Mullen Center in Amherst to take on UMass Amherst on Sunday. Joining us now, the head coach of the Riverhawks, that is Norm Bazan. Norm, welcome. Nice to be here with you, Bob. Always a pleasure. I've got to ask you right off, as I describe it, two different opponents, a day off in between. Uh, a little bit of an unusual or not typical weekend. Does it change the way one approaches practice in that there are two different opponents and you've got another day to practice between games? Well, honestly, we're concentrating on the first opponent only. Uh, the next opponent we'll, uh, we'll talk more about on Saturday. However, Friday's game is very important to us as it is them, and uh, we're going to concentrate on our efforts on that game first. Last week when we spoke, um, you said as you headed toward the weekend, you wanted to see improvements. You wanted to see this team improve each weekend and pick up points each weekend. We picked up some points last weekend. Did you see improvements in areas that you were looking to see improvements? Yeah, I did. I, I think uh, we, we got a little bit better on the rush offense. I thought we were a little bit more creative. I thought our uh, special teams took a, a little bit of a, a step forward, and it's going to continue to do so if you're going to be one of the uh, uh, top-tier teams in this league. You mentioned the offense and on the rush a little more creative. Is creativity something that can be taught or is something you just kind of find players that are creative? No, I, I think it's a bit of both. It's, um, it's rehearsal and practice of creativity, allowing your guys to be creative in the offensive zone and, and, uh, and just executing. Really, it's, uh, it's rehearsal and uh, we've been working a lot of, uh, on it in practice and we hope to, uh, to have more creativity this weekend. When we talk about creativity, I think of players who see the ice well. When you scout a kid, you can see how well they skate or shoot. Can you see, as a scout or a scouting player, how well they see the ice? Oh, certainly. You watch them enough times, you, you can see a lot of different things um, come into play. I think on ice vision is a big deal. I think hockey sense is even more important than anything. Um, I think if a player has sense, he knows where to go, he knows what type, when to delay the play, uh, when to maybe pull up, uh, all those tight little things, that uh, and those nuances for the opposition that uh, cause havoc. When last we heard from you, it was on the radio Saturday night following uh, the second game with Maine. And one thing you had said was that Maine came out with a great deal of urgency in the third period. How does one define urgency? What must one do on the ice to show that urgency? Well, I, I think uh, we've showed it at different times this year where we've been at our best. Up at Colorado College, I thought we beat them to the puck all night long. And I thought... Uh, uh, some of our battle level or our compete level wasn't as good as theirs in some of those one-on-one -on -one battles. And it, it, uh, it has to be, especially at home, uh, if you're going to have success. Um, we didn't play poorly, but we didn't play our best, and that's not something you want to take with you to Friday, so we're going to try to uh, remedy that right off the bat. Are there things one can do in practice? Obviously, you don't want to get players injured, but are there things you can do in practice that helps to increase the, the battle level, the compete level, uh, that pushes the question of urgency? There's no question. You can do a lot of one-on-one -on -one play, two-on-two, two-on-three play, um, a lot of different uh, confrontational battles that uh, you put the players through. And we don't really think about injuries. Injuries happen in hockey. They're going to happen regardless of what you, you try to do or not do uh, in practice. So you don't really think about that. You just put them in as many uh, adverse situations as possible to where they have to battle through. And um, our guys have been uh, you know, doing some of those, uh, those battle drills here this week. As indicated earlier, two different opponents, two different rinks also this weekend. So on Sunday, we're out at UMass Amherst. It is the Olympic sheet. We have been through a weekend earlier this year playing first in Denver, an NHL rink, and then in Colorado Springs against Colorado College, an Olympic sheet. Is the transition from one to the other, as the scores there might suggest, easy? Or is it more difficult than, um, than I'm, I'm giving credit to? Well, I, I think you're... you're you're concerned with things that you can't control, and, and we're really not concerned by that. I, I think it's always easier to go from uh, from uh, an Olympic ice sheet to an NHL sheet. So when you have a first uh, game of the week on Friday, for perhaps, on an Olympic sheet, it's always easier to come back to an NHL sheet versus uh, vice versa. But 
we, we have the uh, opposite scenario present itself and, and we'll control what we can. We'll, we'll skate on whatever sheet they present to us. And, and um, you know, Sunday's game is on an NHL Olympic sheet, excuse me, and we'll, we'll deal with it. Same when we were on the Olympic sheet last time at Colorado College, and you pointed out maybe our strongest game of the year. This team seemed very adept, very much at home on the larger surface. I think we've got some good skaters, and I think we're fairly good uh, east and west as well as north and south. So I, I think uh, not only is our agility improved, I think we've got some good skaters. So it really doesn't intimidate me having a big sheet. You do have to make some adjustments in your game plan. However, we'll make those uh, on Saturday and hope that uh, the guys were, uh, were listening and telling. And finally, what are the keys for the weekend? Well, first and foremost, we, we want to bring our compete level up to where it's been this year, different points this year. Secondly, we want to uh, certainly drive the net and make it uh, difficult on, on uh, the Smith, who's, I believe, the leading goaltender in the league at this time. Special teams always the, 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 the third uh, choice. And it's uh, the penalty kill, especially. We we can be better on the penalty kill. We've only given up three uh, goals in three games this year on the penalty kill. You know the problem is we've given up two or three in those games. So the, the I don't think the power play percentage, excuse me, the penalty kill percentage reflects our effectiveness, and we want to get better uh, on the penalty kill. And power play wise, we'll continue to chip in and, and keep scoring power play goals, and should help our overall game. All right, again, Riverhawks host the University of New Hampshire Friday night at the Songus Center at UMass Lowell, and then on Sunday evening, journey out to Amherst, Massachusetts to take on UMass Amherst at the Mullins Center. Uh, Coach, first, good luck. Secondly, Norm, thank you. Thank you, Bob.